Hey everybody. I'm not sure how long this video is going to be, to be honest. Um, this is just a wee catch up video on what I've done in Silent Hope. I've just piled ahead. I've not only done one boss, but I've made it through to the very next boss. Uh, I've decided that these sort of interjecting lines you get from her. <clears throat> they're flavor building, but they're not really added much to the story as of yet. But there is a. I'll just I'll just show you. I'll just show you. I'll start her. Um, rather than there, I'll go here. Go for it. Boing. Oh yeah, change of outfit because I've got everybody to like more than fifteen. really satisfied when you hit that. Rude. So, so far, out of all of the characters that I've played, I, I'd, I'd struggle to pick a favourite, to be honest. Maybe the Archer. It was really underwhelming at level one. No level one. Like in its its first form, like before the class evolution or whatever you would call it in this game. I didn't mean to do that. But its uh, enhanced class was it's got some really good moves. Buddy. But this is obviously the character I played the first time and I thought, well, I might as well start because I've got a fancy special weapon for this character. Um, just randomly had it as a quest reward. It's a big dirty radish sword. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, nice 15 monsters, oh no, how will I survive? Bollock. Oh. Egg complete. So I've had a couple of events. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. A couple of like random events happen, so there is some fairly uh, not randomness. It's not necessarily randomness, but like luck-based stuff, I guess. The maps that you go into are, are fairly similar, right? So they, they all look really the same. Sometimes just for different angles and stuff. But sometimes when you go into these, right? I've gone into one and it's just been like a Send something in and there's like evil eyes all around me. And then it's just a, a right away into like an ambush level. And uh, I've very recently just done one and it was all treasure chests. Whoops. Now that I'm a bit more clued in with the game as well, I can, I can safely say, yeah, some things you don't even bother with. Like, honestly, some classes are not even worth using their auto attack. <laughs> You're, they're there to use the skills, go away for 8 seconds or whatever it is for the cooldown, and then go back for the skills ready again. From what I can tell from reading online stats, the strength stat only, and I mean only, affects the auto attack, and apparently that's just going to become useless by the end of the game, so... There's a point halfway through the game where my auto attack's just going to take too long to kill things, so there's no point in auto attacking things anymore. Oh, 
Although, that being said, I have had a few... Maybe I'm guessing people that have played it know better than I, but I've personally seen a few void stones that... Whoops, that's not what I meant to do, but okay. Hey, if it works, it works. A few of the gems that you can put in your gear, right? They have... Uh, damage over time effects. So they got a relatively low chance of triggering, so it wouldn't be great for a character like this with big, chunky, slow hits, right? But For example, the... The Rogue, or the... Ah, uh, what's it called? Fisty Girl. I can't, I can't remember what they're called. Them, anyway. They attack really fast and multiple times per swing. You could you could probably do like a DPS comparison as it were. That being said, I do find the brawler one of the most difficult to play. But it's it's, it's upgrade is at the very least it's been yeah. I've I've had some improvements to it. And uh use focus? No focus? No, I don't. I don't. Fuck off. Don't tell me what to do. I mean, tight back, just. Right bloody here, aren't I? Um, so you get the Sage upgrade. Uh, rather than that big slow moving orb, I've just got another explosion. But I've. It's pretty much the only move I've got. So she gets some really, really good, good shit. Her main attack for her advanced, this trickster class, I should say, is it's like a teleport behind them and a double attack, but the double attack does fuck lots of damage. Then if you kill someone with it, it resets the cooldown, so as long as you don't do what I do and miss constantly, you could theoretically chain off a bunch of enemies, especially weaker ones. I actually used her to do one of the challenges for... Brain, please work. Oh, I had to do the, the whole floor zero to pass the boss in under a certain amount of time. It was her that I used for it. Paladin, that's the, the upgrade for the, the sword woman that I'm using. <coughs> she's just a good all rounder because she's quite tough despite how slow she attacks, you know. Um, he's broke as fuck. A well balanced pick. My arse. My actual arse. There is nothing in this game that would give this character any kind of pause. He's got ranged attack, he's got a really high damaging knockback stun, and he's got a ranged gap closer high damaging uh, mental. Here's the archer again. Archer's good fun. Uh, the, the bomber class is pretty much what you would expect. That's the upgrade for the wee far more. And she's fun. Um, awkward. Awkward. Um, do you know what? I'll show you what I mean. A new challenger. <laughs> so she get really good range, right? But that's her best move. So that's the moves I'm using the new, right? The other one was this. It, it was good, right? Now don't get me wrong. I absolutely agree. It was a good move. But you see that range on that, right? That range did not reflect in that move. The amount of times I whiffed on it and just got either punished or just wasted time. So I stopped using it, basically. <coughs> Oh, here we go. Go, birdies, go. Nice. Jump. And what's weird about these levels is... It's just the multiple exits. And I don't know if you get, like different results. It's not consistently that there's two exits. 
So the very first one I done was like, oh shit, do I need to pick an exit? I see, this is the exact same. I, I don't know. Must just be something to do with the generation for them. And we get to the first floor. Hey, buddy. I still don't know what that wee guy's meant to be. But yeah, from the original cutscene, this is the... Bastard. debuffed them because I think she's got a void stone that causes like so much burn damage over time. Right, yeah, this is the fight. I imagine you'd get some challenge if you were trying to do something like a uh, no hit run or something. But the only real challenge, I guess, on this difficulty that I'm playing on is. It's melee attacks. I think it just worked out why I like the birds so much. I don't have to aim them. So when you first kill it, you princess and the deer gives you a like, yay, hey, congratulations. Oh, there's a thing it tells about the history of the the stuff and things. Go read it. Another beautiful day in our quiet kingdom. As my daughter and I toured the town, our people greeted us with warm smiles. Thank you for everything. We know our homes are safe in your hands. Each and every one of their words touched my heart. But when we visited the markets, I was alarmed to hear that our food supplies have shrunk compared to previous years. It seems terrible strange sunk several trading ships and all their goods were lost. What a disaster. I hope our current supplies last us through autumn and beyond. So yeah, that's the story, I guess. There's six of those in total if you go by the challenges. We Die, my little dragoon. And you come into this. Uh, let me show up. I'll start with her. I'll start with her. Wee. So she turns into this, uh, what was it called? Like Battle Master. Um, some no bad skills. Uh, I use, I'm basically using a bunch of uh, ranged ones. It's, it's ranged skills, so squares are ranged, stun, triangle is just a ranged high damage move that does the elemental damage in the weapon. And then the only AoE this character gets is the one I've got, Circle. Bonk. It's fun to play. It's just it's uh, even its whole stick is killing things real quick. Yeah, I'm not doing it any faster. Like, well, fair enough. I don't have a fancy weapon for this character yet. I haven't found anything better than the one I got for the weird DLC pack. Wah! Wah! when you go for while or eat. So as you come down here, the princess sort of just gives you a little drips and drabs of... Okay, so this, this whole area is reminiscent of the autumn festivals that they used to have. Uh, I don't 
two traps. That's a nice easy one. Um, and she reminisces about how she, she really liked them. That's the wrong button, you fool. Oh. See that? I done a kind of pull in thing there. Do you know what? I don't think I've done it yet. Give me some minutes. Pop, pop. You, you, and you. There's no cost in doing it, so you just kind of do it as you like. If you know you're going to do a certain run, I suppose you could change the skills to the, the buffing skills and just hope you get a speed buff, I guess. I know the Rogue, or I guess it's the Trickster, gets a really nice one. Um, its whole stick as it drops, I can't remember what stat, I think it's like your dodge rating, which it passively gets some of anyway, and I'm sure you can manipulate somehow to increase. Uh, I don't think I got any of this. Oh, I did. Okay, so um, but it, it passively changes all of that dodge rain for the duration of the buff into strength, so your physical attack. And again, that's one of the really fast attacking classes. So its whole stick is kill it before it kills you, I guess. Where chest. Can't wait to get something I won't use. So far, the weapons are they're underwhelming. Consid considering what you get started with, or I don't know what it was that gave me the. I mean, you might have seen on my, my Wanderer, he's got a bunny sword and shield thing going on. And the, the radish, I'm, I'm sure they were just rewards from random missions from the princess. Other than that, I don't have a clue. I'm also not sure why it was only those two that were like, oh yeah, yeah, this is your, this is your class, this is your whack, this is what you're getting for these two. Go enjoy being overpowered with two classes in particular. Because it's nearly double the damage of the nearest weapon I've been able to get by repeated running of this whole dungeon right down to the boss floor. Um, let's play with the bomber. Bomberman! Reminder of my buttons. So, Monster Rush, yeah, so. Yeah, I remember, I remember. So, we've got a slow launch. That one. Nothing was happening. But yeah, my favourite thing about this character is that. And then that. And then the only other really attractive move that I had is that big explosion. Because I like me some good AoE. However, I did take a thorough kick in there, so maybe I'm going to sage it up. Oh, skill cooldown for the sage. That's actually really fucking good. Tatey balls, no. Black hole. Mm. 
Fuck it. Level 5 is the max level that's available to me. I don't know if it's always the max level, but it's the current max level for me. Okay, stop these gum lights. It's time for a nice refreshing explosion. Oh, come on! I've tried to keep all my dudes, like, relatively similarly equipped. Not the easiest task, to be honest. Because of the way loot is basically randomly generated. It's rare to see any two items basically the same. Oh, oh I still got that's me. I'm half tempted to try this memory as the sage. It'll be tough, but what am I using? You, you, and you. Okay. Reset. Do you know what? You're probably better there. Let This does the most damage and has the shortest cooldown, so level that one up as high as it'll go. Focus on the damage. I'd say that was a worthwhile change. <laughs> easy to go from like super burly characters to these weaker ranged characters. They aren't weaker by any stretch of it. But like defensively they don't have the, the defense stat the other one does. So the damage they take is just off the charts. Which I guess many aims as I can as well. I think some of this floor are a lot more expensive to make. I don't know it's just because it's like a rare material, I guess. I pressed the wrong button. Boop. Not the button. It's fine. It worked out. It's a whole lot of shit right there. Boing. 
You know what? I'll take that. Anyway, let's go. I'm going to pop the big game way. These two, so. Yeah. Skill power for this character? Oh, hell yeah, actually. Oh wow, this was a short floor. Alright, I'll do the, the nightmare then. I'm going to start rushing through the floors anyway. Woohoo! I guess you get a bulk stone on so her attacks do lightning damage. So one thing is, with these kind of like... Uh, elemental gems and stuff you can put on... The, it is quite a significant increase to damage. So I have sort of wondered, like, oh shit. Not wondered, sorry. It's I'm trying to multitask and it doesn't work for me. Um, I have sort of thought, like, it's weird with that being the situation. I can't change gear mid-run. Especially when there seems to be multiple things available. So I think the actual, like, ah, oh, I totally missed it. The sort of end game goal would be to have sort of one of everything made up ready. Have characters kind of specialize. Which is fair, the game definitely wants you to have like at least a couple of characters to play as. Maybe not as obsessive as me and like level all of them up, you know. Right now, I'm just on the quick run. I'll do the, I'll do the quest, obviously. It's three runes. Oh, yeah. This is that takes quite a lot of damage, so I'm... Really, hold on, was that a rare... Yeah, give me that. Man, I mean, some things you just I just wet. In other things, it just doesn't use the attack. <laughs> Whatever. So while on the way down, as well, the princess does give you like sort of musings as she goes along and she does talk about like her time doing the festival. Um, it's the first time she heard anybody basically badmouth her father was at one of these festivals. And saying something like, you know, taxes were too high and they, they're just lying in their pockets for other people's hard work. Typical royals, that kind of thing. I think you can see why I used her for the speed run. Wee. Right, I'll show you the most powerful character.
Oh yeah, that shield throw does multiple bounces. That's the one I've got set to circle. Only really counts if you hit me, I suppose. But that's enough talking shite for me. I'll bring these back when I get to the boss, because that'll actually be new content. Oh yeah, I have to show these guys off on camera. As you go down, you get a slightly harder enemy appearing. These big rodent root-like things. Turnip tricksters. They're cute. I like them. Yeah. Anyway. And we're here. So you get here, the princess just kind of goes like, Oh no, I sense another one of those presents is up ahead. I mean, yeah, you're on a boss floor. Also, a level to 20. Um, minimum, minimum. Minim. Eef. I haven't actually done this yet, but by the looks of it, it's going to be some kind of big lizardman. I like the kind of grand arena that it gets. Penguins? What, did they have nothing else to put in the video? They got some intense eyes. I'll see what I can do there. Okay. See, one main thing I've noticed for this game is... Ah, that did not help at all. Okay. Stuns are deadly. Because I was trying to say that. I distracted myself. If you get stunned, you're pretty fucked. to burden my people with that distressing knowledge I decided to hold the harvest festival as usual everyone thoroughly enjoyed themselves blissfully unaware of the grim future ahead now we must tighten our belts to survive yet when I gave the order to ration our food supplies everyone looked absolutely baffled why ration anything when we have all this food has our king lost his wits my words discourage them after such carefree festivities. But I hope they understand why I've done this. For everyone's sake. Meow. Yeah, so without further ado, you literally just jump into the next floor. It doesn't take you out, you don't get any kind of blah de blah, you just come down and it's the exact same as previous. You get a wee message off of the princess pants. What a winter wonderland! Whenever lots of snow fell, our crops would struggle to get enough light, which meant they didn't grow very well. So every year, I'd help our people shovel snow. I enjoyed sharing in their labors. I felt so close to them as we worked side by side. This is one reason why I love winter snow. I also liked how beautiful the town looked dressed in a coat of snow. Everything felt brand new. Okay, the wee bushes are cute. Huh? What? Buddy? Oh! Great tail. Oh. 
Yeah, may as well do. Oh no, we've got frost bees. You're a snowball, buddy. Oh no! <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> yeah, well. I mean, I get that I'm already fighting pallet swaps, right? But it's not that bad. No, it's not like proper egregious. The pallet swap was it was wearing different armor in that sense. Uh, right, I'll do this mission and then I'll exit and see what my my bounties are. Travel to mole. I'll reach in the next floor. All right, buddy, you're coming with me. Come on, buddy. Ah, oh, I thought it followed. Oh, guess not. Friend, take me away. Hello there. Come on, just let me find an exit. Where's the teardrop? Oh, they can hurt enemies. That's pretty cool. Come on, bud. Yeah. Oh, don't. That's just experience. Be a fool to not one more up all that. Especially since I'm actually getting quite good experience again. I mean it. I did say there was a crystal oh, back where I came from. Right, of course. Well, back to the bowl. I've done my quest. Let's go, buddy. Bam. What a strange level this is going to be. Still, I'm hoping maybe by doing this I'll actually have... All right, let's head back. Ooh! I got an achievement, the power of friendship. We're using every character. Time spent. Welcome back! You did an excellent job. I'm so impressed. Rubbish, rubbish. Mori, actually. They're quite good. I hope it's something good. You've earned your reward. Congratulations. Festival of Sorrow. Yep, that's the one. So that took me twenty eight minutes today, just kinda leisurely, but <laughs> having clear goals motivates you to do more. Ah, levels up, right, right, right. I got you, I got you. So it wants me to get them to 30. That's easy to do. That's actually really easy to do. Uh, use... I'll have new missions from time to time. Okay. So make sure to check them every once in a while. I love the sound of a hammer against an anvil. It needs to be about, like, 50 damage before it's even worth looking at. 
So let's see. Oh, we're getting there. What are you making? Ooh, here we go. So these are where we need to be start looking at getting blue version of those. It's pretty, but it's low. Making equipment for seven people must be tricky. While I'd love to help out, I'm kind of stuck here. But I can at least cheer you on from the sidelines. Rah, rah, sis, boom, ba, craft that gear without a flaw. Production is underway. I can't wait to see the finished product. I hope your work goes smoothly. Oops. All hey. right, let's make even more things now. So this is this is the game, man. Like every time I come out, I fill these guys up with orders for things I may or may not even use. Congratulations! Hit leveled up. Give it your best. Production will continue to advance while you're exploring the abyss. I can't wait to see the finished product. I can hardly wait to see how it turns out. Fresh and delicious. Give it your best. Egg. Production will continue to advance while you're exploring the abyss. Cream. Production is underway. Cheers. Thank you. Hold on. Can you go work level up yet? Whoops. Didn't mean to smack him. No. He's close to me. a child, I once lost sight of father. Uh, I mean, the king during a festival. As I wandered through the crowds, I immediately assumed a large figure was him. So I gave a big hug to a cow. <laughs> it should be done by the time you return from an expedition. And then the final thing is to go through all of these pish things that you're not going to use and shard them. Way, way more. Upgrade chess pieces is the only thing I could call them. Um, I might keep those two of them. No, I'll see if I can get a blue version of them. Would you like to sort items yeah. or descent them? And that saves the game. I'll come back play it next time I want to kill a wee other two. But this is why like so remember last time I was talking about their being was stolen. You can all understand me. Right? Yes, yes. We must have those seven lights to thank for this miracle. Uh, I'm going to pause it so she stops talking. <laughs> Ooh! Oh, hold on. Where's the bunny? <laughs> Look at it. Oh, they're so cute as well. Right, anyway, right, on topic and then finish the video, Brian, Jesus Christ. So, the complaints that I was seeing with this game is like, it's the same game start to finish, so once you've seen what I've done, this is pretty much the game as it's going forward. I like leveling up characters and gearing them up. This is what's going to basically get me through this game, and I'm, I'll enjoy it just to see the wee story as it goes. I'll fill you in the story as I go through it personally. But... The fact I'm already seeing the palette swaps. I don't think they're too egregious yet. Father. Different coloured bunnies and stuff I was expecting because they seem to colour them not on their level but on their element. That was already a thing established on floor one. So that's fine. I can I can deal with that. But would you stop talking, please? Oh. No monsters lurked within. The cows love each and every one of you. I can but yeah, like for this being quite an, a pricey game, this is this is what you're getting. As far as I can, this is this is the game, and I know when you've gone through it. Yeah, the only thing you do is like I know for a fact I've got like hard versions of these to unlock. So fuck knows when that even happens. But either way, neither here nor there, I'm done. Hope you enjoyed anyway. Good luck. Take it easy.